Okay, so in looking at this, you need to note these are the points that are being made available to you in this graph. For instance, on this point, it's for this is the y line, right, on the left side, and the bottom is the x axis or line. Okay, so this point, this first point here, matches the four on the x and the two on the y. And so you could plot it as a four, two point, okay? The same thing over here, let's look at the last one. This line is a five on the y and a 10 on the x. So you could also plot this point as 10, five, because you always put the x first followed by the y. That's the way you always do it when you're plotting points and figuring them out. So how does that help me figure this out? Well, my formula is y equals x plus something or times something or, or whatever it, it might be in this case, right? So let's figure out what this would be. In order to get my y uh, to equal, in this case, it's a five, my y is a five, right? To equal, in order to get this equal to five, and so so y is five, so if I'm gonna write this equation, I'm gonna go five equals what plus minus or multiplied times divided by whatever, something, and it's gonna be a two, right? Because if I'm looking here, I've got options of x or two and x or two. You always wanna start with the x, okay? So in this case, um, and we're gonna do what? And it's either plus minus or divide, right? So what are we gonna use here? Are we gonna use, this has to be a 10 because our X is 10, right? Over here, this is X and this is Y. So we're saying Y, which is five equals X, which is 10. And then what do we have to do to change that so that it's equal? So what would I do? I would have to, in this particular case, divide it by, two, because 10 divided by two is five, right? Then I could get five equals five. I can do the same thing over here with this one, right? Let me change the color so that it, it makes it a little bit easier to see. Again, I'm gonna set my formula up, y equals x and whatever times whatever. In this particular case, my y is a two, right? So two equals, my x is a four, and I'm going to do what? I'm going to divide it by two, right? So I could have this formula set up in such a way that it will work with any of these plots that are here, and it would be y equals x divided by two. That is the equation that matches the graph because that will satisfy all of these. In this case, four equals two. Now, let me clear everything and we could do it even a different way, right? So again, four, which is my X and two, which is my Y. What has to happen to my X so that it equals Y? So I would have to go divided by two, right? In order for four to equal two, I have to divide it by two. So I'd go X divided by two. Another way to look at it is look at this one, right? In order for my Y or my four to be equal to my eight, what do I have to do? I have to divide my eight by two. If I divide eight by two, it always equals whatever it corresponds to on Y. I hope that helps.